The world for writers is better than ever today. If you are a content creator and you're creating text and using ChatGPT, you are in the right place because in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about a new feature they just added to ChatGPT that is really going to make your world a whole lot better all the way around. Hi, I'm Terry Brock with Stark Raving Entrepreneurs and we do a lot talking with how you can use these tools and this one is one you definitely want to use. We're going to take a look at the new version that's out there and it's ChatGPT. I've got it fired up right over here and this is just you and me here. We're going to be talking about this. You'll see down some changes down here on the bottom right about in the center of this right here. You'll see that it has managed chat GPT and there's that our old, old familiar friend the paper clip so you can attach a file that way. Next to that we have some extra tools. It's brand new and then over here still a new kit on the block is search so you can use this instead of Google you would be able to use the search to go out and find out real-time current information. Pretty handy when you do that. But we're going to focus on that one in the middle right now. As we look at that, let's we'll see right here, we've got the view tools. And when I do that, see what happens is it comes up on the bottom of this and we'll see we have the option for a picture. So you can tie into Dolly 3, create the pictures that you would want. Literally with your words, you create a picture. You can also search. I was just mentioning that to you. Here's another way to access it. Reason is a fabulous little tool where you can use a thinking ability. I'm going to put that in air quotes, thinking, where you're looking at what to do, what should I do here or should I go there? It will be able to uh, help you on that. But what we're going to look at today here is Canvas. Canvas, not to be confused with Canva, that great graphics program that we're using. This is Canvas with an S on the end. It gives you the ability to collaborate and do some amazing things with programming and writing. I'm not a programmer. We did a little bit of that in the MBA program so that we could understand it, but I'm definitely not. But I do admire greatly those of you who are programmers and you're doing a major wonderful thing for the world in keeping it moving forward with that code that you're writing. But we're going to talk about writing and how you can use this today. So I'm clicking on that right now and you'll see it brings up the word Canvas. By the way, another way that we can get to this, I'm going to erase that, press my delete key and go backwards and I can also press the slash key. When I press the slash key, notice all the options appear as well. So you're getting these available here. And by the way, I'm using the paid version of ChatGPT. Something I would consider you to take a look at how you can use this and what will be best for you. Well, we're going to go back here to Canvas. And I'm going to put in some uh, words and I want you to watch what happens as we do it. I'm going to move over here and I'm going to talk this into the computer so that I'll get it there a little bit faster. Create a story for me that I can send out to content creators, people who are using words to create their YouTube videos, to create podcasts, to do blogging, and those that are using it for marketing and building relationships particularly. We want to focus on relationship marketing. So show me what is available with that in five major components of how AI can help out content entrepreneurs. Okay, so now there it is. I've given my prompt, talked it in there because by the way, you notice I can talk faster than I can type. So I like to use the voice and typing in there, put it in there as much as possible. So anyway, there it is. Now I'm going to give you this in real time. I'm clicking here on the up arrow key and you'll see what it's doing. It's coming in there. It's showing me AI, relationship marketing. And did you see what just happened there? Two screens. So on one side, yes, it's writing the words down there real fast. We'll go back and take a look at some of those later. And then over on the left side, you'll see it has my prompt and then it also shows me uh, other areas there that we can use. But this is putting it in there. I want you to see this in real time so you can see how fast it is operating. And this is pretty amazing when we look at it. We see that it's got all of this for predicting trends and staying ahead is the fifth one there. And all of this is there and then a nice conclusion. This just wrote something that I could use. But here's a really important feature. On this, you want to make sure that when you're working with it, that you don't just use a copy and paste. I've heard that from way too many people. And what they do is they say, well, you can go out to ChatGPT or Perplexity or wherever, and you just copy it and paste it. And there you go, you're done. Not so fast there, Sparky. I'm thinking what you want to do is something different. Yes, you'll copy some things. Yes, you'll get the, the paste in there. Then you use your brain. And you go in there and you twist it, mold it. You want to 
as I like to say, you eyes it. Make it your own. Put in your own voice, your flavors of what you like, what you think, changing some things around. You want to you eyes it. If your name is Bob, you want to Bob eyes it. If you're Mary, you'll want to Mary eyes it. Okay. I'm Terry, so I'll Terry eyes it. Okay. I just like to do that. But you'll want to use that and change it. So do not, do not just do a copy and paste. But now you see, we've got a good rough draft here. We've got some really good information, but I'm going to show you how we can change that when we go back in and do a little bit more. Like for instance, I'm going to move, old, move me a little bit out of the way here so I can come up here closer to the top and be able to see what's going on here. And you'll see we've got this right here. I got the title. It gives me a title, Leveraging AI for Relationship Marketing, a Guide for Content entre Content Creators. It shows me this and a nice introduction there. In today's digital landscape, content creators face immense opportunities, et cetera, et cetera. All of this is really good. I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger there on the computer. So you and I can see this a little bit easier, but you'll see we've got it there. Personalization at scale, showing me that we can tailor email newsletters to specific audience segments. Matter of fact, that's a real good one to know because what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, I'm going to be doing an interview where that's one of the questions that was sent over to me by the podcaster who is interviewing me about AI and relationship marketing. So I'm getting some information there that I can use on my own with my own ideas and put the two together. It's not either or, you or AI. It's the two of you working together. Make sure you've got that. So that'll be good. But let me show you a couple things you could do with this that are really handy related to what we see here with the canvas feature. I see I've got here tailor email newsletters to do this, customize video segments, generate blog content that addresses your audience, unique pain points, all that I think is really good. And you see what I can do is I got a little plus sign there so I can click on that. And then this gives me the ability to edit or explain it so I can put in even more information there. But what I want to do is something just a little bit different here. I'm going to highlight this right there. And when I do, you'll see it pops up here. Ask chat GPT. This is way cool. Clicking on ask that and I'll say expand this to include three additional points of personalization at scale. Give me three specific examples of how this has worked. So you see what I'm doing is I'm going in there in the middle of it. Now, you could do this before. You could just ask the question again, but then you'd have to go back and redo the whole thing. Watch. Now it's different. I'm going to click on the up arrow key there. And you see what it's doing now. So it says expand this and it's highlighting it. Look at that. I'm showing you this in real time. Here it goes. It's putting it in there in real time and look what it just did. It just gave me some expansion on that so that now I've got even more. And then over here on the left side, it says the section has been expanded to include three additional points of personalization at scale, along with specific examples of their applications. Let me know if further refinements are needed. So you see it took those top three and then it said here you could create personalized recommendations for products or services based on past interactions boosting conversions. Hey, that sounds pretty good. I like that. Develop interactive quizzes or surveys powered by AI to engage your audience and provide tailored responses, etc., etc. I got to tell you, that is really, really nice. The fact that way, the way that it works and what we can do with that as a writer, you can go in there, tweak it, get a little bit extra information. And again, you eyes it as you work with that, creating even more capability. This is pretty dang cool, I think. Oh, by the way, another really nice thing you can do on this, I've done this having some fun, is get a translation. Let me show you how that will work. I'm going to come over here, going to come back over here and let you see how, how it works. I'm bouncing around here and say, I want to take these right here. And I think, oh golly, these are just so dandy. They just excite me to no end. So I'm going to highlight these like this. And I've highlighted just that section. I'm going to click on Ask Chat GPT to translate these into Spanish and place the output right below. There we are. And now I'm going to tap the enter key and let's see what happens. So we're going to say, okay, we want to translate it into Spanish. Here it is. It's highlighting and look how it does it on this. It's highlighting. It's kind of reading it itself. It's thinking if we can say that. Now it's giving it to us again putting it in here, letting us see some of these features that are in there and notice what's happening. 
it's coming out in a really interesting way. So it's a tailored newsletter to specific audiences. And look what it did down below here. Adaptar Bolentines de Correo Electronico a Segmentos. I think I'm getting that right. I hope I am. Those of you who speak in Spanish, you can let me know how much I butchered that. Uh, Especificos de Audiencia. So in other words, you can do that. But look at this. Here's another little handy thing. I can take this and I'm looking at tailored email newsletters to specific audience segments. I'll bet you that's what this is right here. Personalize your, et cetera, guiones, day videos. Well, you can tell my Spanish has a long way to go, but this is another great feature of it that is just kind of a hidden benefit in there. That if you're trying to learn a language, you can take two or three, I use probably too many here, but you take two or three sentences and then say, please translate that and put it right below and you're able to compare them and make that work. This is a fabulous tool. Did, did you notice that I kind of like this? It's got a lot of great capabilities for you in what it can do in many, many different ways. I think this is the kind of tool that you want to get to know. Now, one of the areas where it really sparkles is when you're looking at the features that are in the lower right corner. You'll see there's a little plus sign and a pencil there. I'm going to click on that. And when I do, notice it gives me several icons that are available. These icons give me the ability to see, hey, here's, here's what's going on. Here's what's happening. And I've got a few extras. Like, for instance, on this right here, I can adjust the length. So if I want to make it smaller, I can do that. I can keep a current length right here, or I can make it longer, very long, or I can make it shorter right here. Coming in there just like that. I'm going to keep this at the current length, but think about that. This is a particularly useful feature when you say, okay, what I want to do is I need a little bit more con content on there. I've only got this much and I need to submit this much. Okay, you can get it done. Or what happens often to us, we've got this much information and we need to compress it. We can do that too. This gives you the ability to do that very easily and very quickly. What you do again is just right here, you come at the adjust the link right here. Now, right above that is something that gives you another capability of adjusting, and that is reading level. Look at this. I click on this right now and it shows, shows me my current reading level. If I say, okay, I'm going to move that down a little bit, I'm going to see where we got middle school, kindergarten. Oh, that's kind of nice. You could make it kindergarten just so if that is your audience, you can tailor it that way. Or if you're writing to politicians, maybe you can. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you could do it that way. You can move there or all the way up to, let's see, college and then graduate school. So you can do that and we can do it for a specific section of it as well. So like, for instance, what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to highlight this section right here, just those two. And what I want to do is I want to come in here and I'm going to add the reading level here and make that change a little bit. I want to come up here to graduate school. And when I do that, click on that and then we'll see what happens. And a few seconds later after I click, it comes back and it says, craft bespoke email newsletters meticulously aligned with distinct audience segments, leveraging nuanced data insights to ensure relevance and engagement. And I got to tell you, that sure does sound like it came out of a grad school somewhere. <laughs> so you can use this and tailor it. That's the whole point of it. You can customize your output better than ever now because of ChatGPT and what they've put together. This is one incredible package that really never ceases to amaze us as it keeps advancing. So you see, we've got the reading level here. We can also put, when you're finally done with it, you go, okay, this one is ready to go. Add the final polish. It goes in there, checks your grammar, checks your spelling. And uh, I guess we'd say out in the country, gussy it up a little bit. Yeah, that's a good technical phrase, right? Yeah, no, something like that. You could put it in there and get a lot done with it. And then here, we could also add emojis. So if I wanted to do that, let's say for instance, I'm going to take this and in my highly advanced, very sophisticated graduate level, I'm going to come over here and tell it, okay, I want you to add the emojis and I can put in words or sections. I can remove them or have lists. So I'm going to put in here some, uh, oh, let's go with the words and I'll click on that. Let's see what's going to happen here. It is working with it, highlights that. And now it's doing this. Now you'll notice it's coming in here just with that, putting in some nice emojis that it is suggesting. So here's what you could do. You can look at it and go, okay, I like this one and I like that one, but maybe I don't want this right here. Actually, that would be a good one right here. Podcast, notice it puts in headphones. That's really good. Precision, yeah, we got a little precision here. And then resonance here, it's got that sunshine there. I like that. Those are appropriate. And again, in the right context, they can be very helpful for what you're doing.
So these are just a few of the features that are available for you when you're working with ChatGPT. And some of these will require the paid version. Uh, you can get this for the free version. You get it limited and you don't get to do as much, but the paid version also is better. I would encourage you to take a look at this. There's even more. And so I want to hear from you. Let us know what you think. And however you're getting this on video, probably, or if you're getting the audio podcast of it, let us know what you think on that. And uh, drop us a note. I'm Terry at terrybrock.com. So you can do that or come on over to Stark Raving Entrepreneurs. Me and my partner, Gina Carr, work on this and help people to realize their dreams using tools like ChatGPT and getting ahead. Let me know what you think, and I'll look forward to hearing from you. Oh, 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 but don't go well yet. Before we leave, I've got some other videos for you that are going to really help you on ChatGPT and Perplexity particularly. Some of those that are available. You'll see those right here on the YouTube when you're catching this on YouTube. And be sure and enjoy.